What is going on YouTube? This is Soul Reaper and I've got an O an and an OU battle for you today against Dave, otherwise known as Ted Drizek, I believe. I'm gonna link his channel in the description anyway, because he has a channel. I don't know if he uploads or not, I don't remember really asking, but uh, he let me upload this battle because it was fun and stuff, and I forgot to start the video. So I'm gonna do that now. Um anyway. Just going in like, straight into the team preview, this is a sun team that I made just because I thought there's not enough sun, there's not, not, enough, there's not enough sun around today in the meta game because it's generally outclassed by rain and sand, but you know, still I thought I'd uh, just go for it. Um, so I've got obviously Nine Tails just to set up the sun, it's got like Solar Beam, Fire Blast, Will of Pain Split, especially defensive, kind of, obviously. Um, I've then got Tornado's T because Tornado's T really works on anything, like at any team you put it on, it does work. Um, it's a mixed set. So, well, sort of mixed, I say mixed, it's not really massively mixed, but it has some physical moves. Um, Registeel is fully special defensive, he's my rocks user, because I like rocks, and because also T-waving things is fun. Um, Donphan is obviously rapid spin. I actually run, I have Stone Edge, because I wanted to put Stealth Rocks on Registeel, and if I run Stone Edge on Donphan, then people are like, oh, he's going to work quick, isn't he? And then I can Stone Edge things, and it works, it works nicely. Um, Executor is a Chlorophyll set with Sub, Life Orb, and I think Giga Drain, Psychic, and Hidden Power Fire, which does work in OU, like seriously, it tears through teams. And the Infernape is just a Focus Sash set, kind of mid-game Sash, just because it's lulzy. But yeah, stuff like that happens, and it's quite good, it works nicely. It's a physical set, by the way. Um, looking at his team, I'd imagine the Scissors, probably Choice Banded, Rotom, Choice Scarf, or maybe Specs, because the Salamence could be Scarf. In which case, he's got three choices, which is a lot, so that's, that's a lot of choice Pokemon. So I'm thinking the sal like one of them might not be. It could be that the Rotom's a more defensive build, maybe this is a Swords Dance variant, or the fact that Salamence could be the Dragon Dance. Um, Lucario is normally Swords Dance, that's, that's probably what I'd expect to see from it. Um, Latios could be physical with Dragon Dance, could be special, could be Life Orb, Scarf, all, all manner of things. He around only looks like the only really defensive Pokemon on his team, so I'm assuming it's going to be a specially defensive build and also be his Rocks user, because he hasn't got anything else that I think, I don't think, he can set up Rocks, as far as I'm aware. But anyway, um, yeah, this is a good, good fun match. And with that, we go into the battle. So, I need out with Tornado Therian, because I'm fast as all hell. And first turn, I go for the Superpower, revealing I'm a mix X. I don't like the fact that Focus Blast can miss. I do not like that, and Superpower is kind of cool. I like having it. So I go for the Stealth Rocks, uh, no, he goes oh, He goes for the Stealth Rocks and Seat Round, which confirms my suspicions that his is his Rocker. Um, I go for U-Turn just to get out of there, really, and I predict him, I don't, well, I don't know, I just go for U-Turn, because if he switches, then it's good, if not, then I can go into a more appropriate counter. I probably could have finished him off with Superpower, but that was kind of obvious. So, going to Nine Tails just to get my son up, and I expect him, because I don't see any leftovers, I expect him to be the Choice Scarf set, in which case I can go out to Tornado Stereo and expecting the Earthquake, and everything will be fine and dandy. He says he goes for another Earthquake, as I U-turn, because I was sure he was going to switch, because locked in. But that, that was a really, really good play on his part, because now I have to bring in something to try and scare him out. And Donphan works perfectly for that. I can go for the Rapid Spin, I believe I do anyway, predicting a switch into Rotom Wash, because he'll think I'm going to Ice Shard. And that works nicely, I get my Rapid Spin off, and no rocks for me, because this team does not like rocks, it really doesn't. I didn't see the trick coming at all, because I'm stupid, and I never ever expect Rotom Wash to run trick, because I don't run it. So he tricks my Registeel, and now my Registeel is Choice Specs, which is about as useless as it gets. Like, in terms of items that I could have got, that's, that's about as bad as it could be. So, go for my rocks as he brings in his Heat Ram. Now, I go into Infernape because I can scare him the hell out with the close combat. Now, last time he predicted my user, he protected. So, he's going to protect again. I just go for the close combat. And now, I predict him to think that I'm banded, because he hasn't seen Life Orb or anything like that. And go out into something else. Or, do I just go for the close combat? No, I just go for the close combat straight away. Well, <laughs> I thought I was going to do something different. That's silly. I should have watched this battle back before I started narrating it. I'll probably just go for the close combat because finish him off. And then I U-turn on the road to wash because he's lost, because he's not specs and because I'm fast as hell. 
uh, speed him and kill him off with U-turn. So I go into my Don fan, and I would really want to see what he brings in on this. So Latios comes in. As most Don fans are physically defensive, it's fair to assume that's a special build. And I just go into Red Steel because I could probably wall the hell out of him, right? No, no, he has hidden power fire. That's bad. And I make a really stupid play here and protect. Which just means he gets. Oh no, he doesn't have lefties. I can't remember anything about this battle. I feel so silly. So I go into Nine Tails because hidden power fire, right? And I can resist that, right? All good. All good so far. And then he flips a bitch on me and shows me that he's expert belt. And I was just like, oh shit! Because I did not see that coming and he nails me basically. So now I know he's going to switch out. If he doesn't, then U-turn does super much damage anyway. So I just go for the U-turn. He brings in his heat ran, and that is all fine and dandy. So I got into Donphan, and I thought he, I really thought he was going to predict my rapid spin here and just go for the rocks again. I think that's what I think he's going to do. But no, he just goes for Lava Bloom, and that does super much damage and burns me. And I'm like, sad times. So I rapid spin this turn and get rid of the rocks, and that's all good. It's nice. It's, it's good. It's gone. The rocks are gone. Now I expect him to try and set them back up again. So I go for the Earthquake this turn, because finishing off the Heat Ran, and now once I Rapid Spin away those rocks, then that's that's it, no rocks for him, and that's ideal. He brings in his Salamence, and I was like, right, he's just going to go for, the, I don't know, Earthquake or Dragon Claw, or anything really to finish me off. But he pulls a Double Switch into a Scissor. I believe he expected me to go into Registeel, possibly, to resist the Dragon type attack. But I get my Rapid Spin off, and that's I'm, I'm fine with that. So he U-turns, um, and I get Switch Initiative, which is nice. Goes back into his Salamence. Really not too bothered because I have Executor and Chlorophyll Executor outspeed Salamence, which is great. Unfortunately, he's Latios, wars me completely, and I know that, so I don't bother going for a sub this turn. I just go for Psychic, get some damage on it. Um, I go for the sub here just to see what he wants to hit me with, because I completely forgot that he had HP Fire. Like, I just it just vanished from my mind. So he goes for it, and I go into Infernape because I know I resist it. And here I was, I'm I'm stupid basically. I need to learn my base speeds because I thought I'd outspeed. No, no, don't be silly, Patrick. Infernape is not that fast, but my Tornado Therian does outspeed. I just go for the Heat Wave, thinking that he predict my U-turn and go into like maybe Scissor or something like that. Doesn't really matter either way. I'm not actually running max speed, so I was quite surprised that I outsped him. But then Tornado Therian is fast as hell. And again, he underestimate he underestimates Tornadoes or just doesn't know. He knows that I have the Heat Wave, so I really don't know why he went into Lucario. But I just go for Heat Wave again, finish off that, and that is ideal. But now I'm in a bit of a sticky situation because he's got his Banded Scissor left. And Banded Scissor does super much damage, like so, so much damage. So, my plan is, switch out into Registeel, we start lagging it, switch out into Registeel, uh, let Registeel die, because it's pretty much useful, useless with the choice specs anyway, it's not like I'm going to want to paralyze it, because he's gone for a priority move. Switch back into Tornado Therian, then switch back out to Executor, because I thought Executor wouldn't be able to take a bullet punch, but he takes it really, really nicely, it's a 2 KO, I think it does about 65%, and now Tornado Therian is back at 97% HP, and that's lovely because I can live a bullet punch from that range and kill him off with a heat wave. So that leaves me with a very, very narrow 1 0. That was a great game. Um, Dave, Dave, I believe I'll just call you Dave that works. That works better than Drizek. Um, I'll call you Dave. And that was a good game. Um, go check out his channel. Don't know if he uploads, but if not, if he does, then leave him a cheeky sub. And if he doesn't, then well, at least I, I tried. You know, I tried. Uh, that's a good game, and I will see you guys later.